morning everyone how are you all doing i hope you all are doing great this is Pravin Dure from Dice University and in today's video we are going to talk about why you shouldn't use Elementor to build your affiliate page so before we proceed further please please hit the subscribe button to support us as well as the bell notification and if you like this video please drop a like as well so that we can actually keep producing good content for everybody so are you ready let's get started Hi everyone, welcome to today's video on why you shouldn't use Elementor for your affiliate pages. So Elementor is a free, uh, there is also a pro version, but mostly it's free to use a page builder, which you can actually use in WordPress. So we are going to talk why you cannot use Elementor for your affiliate pages and why it's not very suitable to use Elementor for your affiliate page. That's what we'll be covering in today's video. So the first reason why you should not use Elementor for your affiliate pages would be you can only use the Alimentor on a word press available website like i told you just now so i don't know how they do do elementor i am a very very big fan of elementor i've been using elementor for a lot of stuff but not for affiliate pages guys so whenever i create my whole website i will use elementor's drag and drop builder and all this kind of stuff and as i know elementor they do have a, a lot of landing page templates. they are very focused on landing page templates and they do have stock images and uh, stuff like that but it is actually a building plugin within WordPress. I, I'm, I'm pretty sure that you can go to Elementor website and do something as well, but you can only use it on a WordPress enabled site. So let's say you have no, you don't have a WordPress site. You do not buy for WordPress hosting. You just buy a domain and you upload it in Amazon S3 and you want to run it. You cannot use Elementor at all because it's not WordPress enabled and only the WordPress enabled website can use Elementor. I think this restricts a lot of things, right? Like it, it, it makes choices go very, very lost because not all of you are using WordPress. Some of you are using different CRM. Some of you are not even using any CRM. You're just using a hosting cloud like Amazon S3. And then you build your website based on this. You want to build your landing page based on that. So this actually limits a lot of stuff. And this is the biggest downfall of Elementor as I, as I know. And also I think that it's also, uh, it's the biggest downfall from our perspective, but from their perspective, if I look at it, I think that they cater for WordPress website. So they don't cater for anything else. And that's their target market. That's their go-to market strategy whatsoever. So <laughs> that's, that's totally depend on them. But from our side, I think this is actually a big loss because affiliates use variety of different CRM as well as uh, other cloud services to host their website. So not everybody is using WordPress. So the second reason is the Elementor uh, page builder need constant update. You need to constantly update it. Like I told you before, Elementor will be embedded in a plugin within WordPress. So when you're using WordPress, it's very easy to update Elementor. I mean, it's, it's still easy to uh, update Elementor, but if you're using WordPress, you will actually receive a notification when you go to the admin panel. You will see that uh, you need to update this plugin. You need to update this plugin. And you you can actually see that it, it will get really really annoyed you know because it's constantly updating and you need to constantly update if not your website will go haywire your alignments might go missing and all this kind of stuff would happen guys so you need to update it constantly and since i'm not going to talk about using other stuff because elementor is only present in wordpress so yeah i've not used elementor other than wordpress i, I don't think it's possible as i per my knowledge it's not possible at all maybe you, th you know it's possible then you can leave us a comment below but then you need to constantly update it at one point it will get really really frustrating doing that go ahead update then tomorrow you update again then after three days you update again stuff like that it, it, it can get really really on your nerves so the third reason why it's not suitable for an affiliate page is lack of of useful features yes you can use elementor to build your whole website i'm not saying that you cannot but then 
I told you that Elementor is a free platform and then they do have a pro features as well so the the free features has a very very limited function guys. so you can't do a lot of stuff within the free features they lack of a lot of useful features especially for landing page for website you can still use the free features but I feel that it's still lacking of useful features. I know, I know, I know that they need to make money. They it's their business and all this kind of stuff. But like I told you, we are concentrating on why it's not suitable. And I think one of the reasons, major reason why it's not suitable, is because of its lack of useful features. When they do not have enough useful features for you to build a landing page, it would be very, very troublesome for you. Even though you are a beginner affiliate marketer, or even though you are a season affiliate marketer doesn't matter it's because of their lack of useful features you might feel that you have been dragged dragged down by the elementor itself so the next reason why you should not use elementor for your landing page or affiliate page builder is because there is no easy way that you can actually a b test the landing page guys so if if you are very uh experienced in creating landing page you would know how important is the a b testing right you need to test which landing page works so that you can get higher click through rate right so if you can test most of the landing page software they do have a, a very easy to test a, a very easy to use a b testing apart you can actually test the landing page very very easily among two of them but with the elementor page builder it's not easy to test a landing page or an affiliate page guys trust me and you know what's the best part i don't think there is a very very there is a way actually but it's very complicated it's not user friendly as well uh it is very very complicated guys so without a b testing i think that you will not be able to determine which is your high performing landing page compared to another and then that will make your ctr rate goes down as well because you cannot know which one is higher uh, which one is much more converting and which one does give more ctr you will not know all this which will make your landing page to be very very bad and this is one of the reasons why you should not use elementor as for, to build your affiliate page and the next reason why you should not use elementor to build your affiliate page is it's not fast enough like i told you loading speed loading speed you might get frustrated with me because most of the video that i do in this particular session you would be asking me hey we always talk about slow loading slow loading slow loading why you keep repeating that because that is so important guys you will be wasting your money uh let's say that you put a cpc a cpc ad right? so your ad is wonderful and people click on your ad you get a high rate high click rate you are paying for that clicks you know you're playing for uh, you're paying for that clicks and people get to a uh, high click rate and then they go to your landing page your landing page loads so slow what would be people do they will just cancel your landing page and go back to the page they come from so you still ended up paying for that ads but you will not get any click through rate at all talk about conversion late rate later guys i'm talking about click through rate at least if you don't get click through rate at least how would you you get any conversion rate at all and this is one of the worst part of the elementor it's slow it's really really slow uh, it, it also depends on your hosting plan if i'm not mistaken somehow it depends on your hosting plan to make your bandwidth go fast or something like that but it's still slow it's not fast enough and the final reason why you should not use elementor to build your affiliate page is it's not organized guys you might be thinking elementor is a drag to drop builder uh, you can actually make it very easy yes it's easy to use it's easy to use everything and all this kind of stuff but for a standard template yes but you can actually see that it's not organized at all it's really really hard to determine sometimes when you're using a template or you're using something else it's really really hard to organize it the way you want it to be there's a lot of unorganized thing behind Elementor, guys. Mainly, I think because they was not designed to build a landing page. They were designed to build a website. And uh, there's a lot of inputs from the website. So they, they try to compile everything together. And I think that's the main reason why things are not organized from their site. 
Uh, I, won't, I won't be blaming them because they are not specifically uh, created for landing pages. They are more the website. But uh, that's one of the biggest downfalls that the uh, Alimentor has because they are not organized. And uh, as a beginner affiliate marketer, especially if too many informations comes into you. They, these informations are not organized. Uh, things are not organized. You will get pretty confused. You will get pretty frustrated with whatever happening. You will not understand what's happening. So you will be like, hey, what's happening, man? I'm losing my head. And you will end up even quitting the whole affiliate marketing journey. You know, it happened to a lot of people that I know. Trust me. So too much information is not good. And information that is not organized is even way, way, way way not good and these are the major reasons why you should not use Elementor to build your affiliate page so if it's not Elementor then what it is what should you use you can definitely use Landerize guys Landerize is a brand new software created specifically for affiliate pages let me highlight the word again specifically for affiliate pages it is something that you can actually create the landing page upload it in amazon s3 which makes its loading time pretty fast so there's no need for you to worry again about paying for the click rate and not getting enough click through rate or conversion rate you would be getting that ctr if your landing page loads very fast. You can actually integrate the Landerize with uh, any other external tracking software, volume, being on, rate tag, and all this kind of stuff. You can also use the drag and drop features. This is a very, very normal feature with all the page builders, right? So uh, Landerize has that huge features as well. Personally, I have tested out Landerize. Uh, oh, let me just say, the link is actually in the description of this video. So if you want to go ahead and test out Landerize, you you can go ahead and click on the link in the description you can go ahead and test out landerize yourself so like i was saying what was i saying uh, yep i have personally tested landerize before if you go ahead and sign up into a landerize account then you start building your landerize account you can really create a landing page an affiliate page should i say in less than five minutes i managed to create it in, in three minutes guys maybe because i have uh, I have much, I'm a much more seasoned affiliate marketer. So if a beginner affiliate marketer, I think you could be able to create it maximum in 10 minutes, guys. So really, really, the titles they say, right, create highly optimized landing page in minutes. That's not something that they were bullshitting on. They really, really, you can create them in very, very fast. So currently they have like 50 templates. Uh, they have only recently launched. I, I really hope that they will update the templates more, like 100 templates at least, which I think they will do. So the best part about Landerize is that this particular software is built specifically for affiliates. I told you, right? But you know who build it? An affiliate marketer actually build it. So it's built by an affiliate marketer for affiliate marketer. And this is the biggest point that I love about Landerize because I am an ex uh, I as an affiliate marketer, I've experienced this. I've tested a lot of landing page software. And when I go ahead and use them, I always think, hey, why these guys don't think from a perspective of an affiliate marketer? Why they always think from the perspective of a product seller, from a perspective of a sales funnel? They don't think in the perspective of an affiliate marketer. But this is it, guys. This is something that somebody thought from the angle of affiliate marketers to make life much more easier for affiliate marketers as well. And that is why I actually like and I actually highly recommend Landerize for you guys. Definitely, definitely, definitely go ahead and check it out. The link is also in the description, just like I told you. Go ahead and check it out, guys. You will never regret it. Thanks again for watching this video, guys. We have reached to the end of today's video. Please, please support us by hitting the subscribe button, the like button, as well as the bell notification so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. Keep supporting us, guys. Thanks again for watching. I'll be seeing you in the next one. And bye-bye.